let's get into my hair growth that's what you guys came here for right to see how much my hair grew welcome to my channel my name is tandy and if you're returning welcome back so in today's video we will be going over my final thoughts on the defill line so we're gonna see how much my hair grew and we'll also talk about how i feel about the products and my hair growth regimen currently i did do a video my initial review on the products so if you haven't seen that video make sure that you watch that one before you watch this one but make sure you come back to this one let's start with my current regimen at first i was washing my hair literally every two to three months um and i was seeing a lot of hair growth from that obviously you know my hair was growing quite a bit in that amount of time like that's a long time to go without washing your hair now i'm washing my hair at least once a month and that is all i can do washing my hair every two weeks is just way too much for me like yeah i can't do that i, I won't do it even if you told me it's gonna make my hair grow faster i'm not doing it it's just too much i'll oil my scalp at least once a week just to make sure that my hair is nice and moisturized because i have high porosity hair and porosity i have high porosity hair and so it likes to soak up and drink up oils and things like that however i can say since i've started using these products my hair doesn't get as dry as often and I, I have to I have to say that these oils are, are, are staying in my hair and my hair is not soaking it up as quickly as it used to on my wash day I decided this time around that I was going to use the black castor uh, shampoo that they have along with their biotin conditioner because I wasn't able to find the black castor conditioner I don't know why I've been in and out of that store all month and I just haven't been able to find it they did have the ultra growth one but I wanted the black castor whatever they didn't have it so before I washed my hair I did a hair mask I did the rice water hair mask which stinks so freaking bad I mean it's fermented so obviously it doesn't smell good but it smells really really bad so I did a, a hair mask with that and I also used a sherry moisture hair mask that I did um did haul in another video that I will leave the cards for so that you can watch that haul um it's just a bunch of hair products let that sit on my hair honestly for at least a few hours while I was working and then after that my hair was almost dry but not quite I put a um shower cap on my hair as well so after that i went ahead and put the oils in my hair along with not all of them i just used one oil i used the conditioner the biotin conditioner along with the shampoo and just kind of like rubbed everything together put it in my hair section my hair and put my hair in twists so then i you know detangled it left my hair in twists and washed my hair while it was still in twists washing my hair in twists has literally changed my life because before i would literally just like twist it untwist it comb it out wash my hair up uh, it took forever it makes no sense why i was doing it like that i leave my hair in twists now while i wash it and it makes the process a lot faster and a lot easier also i washed my hair in cold water as cold as i could stand it which was really relaxing honestly if you can't stay in cold water then just do lukewarm but it, especially if you have high porosity hair it's better that you don't use hot water like that is going to dry your hair out the most and then when you go in to put in your products that are supposed to hydrate your hair it's not gonna last as long whereas with cold water i'm noticing that my hair retains that moisture a whole lot longer i mean up to upwards of a week which was really unheard of for my hair i washed my hair at least twice this time around because again like i said rice water smells really really bad and i wanted to make sure that it was completely out of my hair so i did wash my hair twice and i just kind of you know mix the conditioner with the shampoo i always do that it just helps to not dry my hair out as much while i'm washing it like i hate that so after that, you know, obviously I did my normal detangling routine and I used all of the oils and detangled my hair. I used the Ultra Growth Oil, which I really, really like this because I noticed that it made my hair shiny as well as 
it does linger on my hair for a really long time at least a week which again my hair has never done that before so i really really like this one it has basil and castor oil in it and it's not a really strong scent but it does smell really really good i also use the jamaican black castor oil for me i won't be repurchasing the black castor oil i prefer black castor oil to have more of a thicker consistency honestly I tried out this black castor oil by the brand okay I really like it and then of course we can never get rid of this one I know you guys have seen this one before and also this one like these those are my favorite ones but I really really like the one from okay it was really really thick and I need that my hair needs that this is just really really watery I don't like it I mean I'm gonna use it but I don't like how watery it is I also used the biotin oil. Eh, honestly, this is watery as well. I can take it or leave it. Like, if I see it, I will repurchase it. But if I, like, I, again, I can take it or leave it. I like it. I do like it. But, like, mm, I'm not tripping over it, you know? But this one right here, if I run low, I am going to go get it. I like it. I really, really like it. And I mainly used this one during my, you know, in between my washing, you know. So I oiled my scalp with this. This this right here is Bay. okay? All of them have a scent. The oils have scents, but they're not strong. The conditioner and shampoos, though, they have a stronger scent. Like, like they smell natural but fragranced if that makes sense and they smell really good to me but if you are sensitive to fragrances i mean i just wanted to let you know they are heavily scented now honestly the biotin shampoo and conditioner when i used the two of those together i really liked it and i felt like it didn't dry my hair out at all whereas when i use the black castor shampoo along with the biotin conditioner y'all i'm sorry my neighbors are so they let their kids run back and forth all day. They do. Some days I don't even think them babies go to school. But um, I felt like the black castor shampoo dried my hair out just a little bit. So I feel like if my hair is really, really dirty, then I'm going to use this one. Like if I have oils in my hair, if I, you know, have product buildup in my hair, then I'm going to go for this one because it's going to definitely take everything on out which was perfect for me using that rice water because it smelled really bad whereas the biotin conditioner and shampoo i don't have the shampoo um right here it's in my hair drawer it looks exactly like the conditioner it came in a dual set but um yeah that right like this right here the biotin i i will probably use this forever I really, really, really recommend it. I really like it. Again, like I said, it didn't dry my hair out. It does have a scent. It's pretty strong. But again, it smells really good to me. Let me mention this too. The conditioner, I couldn't get it out at first. I had to put a little bit of oil in the conditioner and then kind of like shake the bottle up in order for it to pump out for me. So I just want to mention that if you get it and it doesn't pump out, add a little bit of oil to your bottle and it should pump out just fine. Overall, the Biotin and the, the Biotin line, I love it. The Ultra Growth Oil, I really love it. So I recommend definitely if you pick up anything, pick up those, okay? So let's get into my hair growth. That's what you guys came here for, right? To see how much my hair grew. So let's go ahead and get into this hair growth. The first time that I measured the back of my hair, my hair came out to 16 inches. And this time around, it came out to 16 inches and a quarter, which isn't that big of a difference, but it is, you know, some hair growth. I don't know what happened there, but um, I was expecting a whole lot more, especially since that I, you know, measured the front of my hair first. I didn't feel me measuring the back of my hair because I just felt like... It wasn't a significant difference i just tell you how much my hair grew like whatever the front of my hair though it came out to 13 inches the first time around this time around it came out to 14 and a half inches so my hair grew i don't remember what yeah i don't remember the little numbers i know an inch i know a quarter of an inch and then i know another inch 
that's it the little numbers in between that i don't know that so i don't remember what the little numbers were i just remember this time around it was a full inch and a quarter i've just started to you know do length checks and stuff like that so i don't know if maybe the front of my hair grows faster than the back of my hair i'm gonna have to you know play around with that and figure figure that out to see you know if maybe the back of my hair needs a little bit more attention in order to grow or you know i don't know how my hair grows as far as like the difference between the front and the back if that makes sense i know that the back of my hair is drier but you know i just have to pay attention to that but um yeah i'm happy overall with the hair growth i will say that no product is gonna make your hair grow like crazy fast but if you are retaining some moisture, if you are growing your hair, I mean, an inch is good. An inch is really, really good. So overall, I would say that my hair likes these products. I would say that I recommend them for sure. Um, and I will continue to use them. If you guys know of any products that you would like for me to do a review on, please let me know. I liked doing this hair review product review hair link check review all of that i loved doing this so i will definitely be reviewing more products more natural products um for reference i have a 4c hair high porosity hair dry as okay brillo pad dry but um yeah i'm really proud of my hair growth now it's in a natural state so it's like drawn up or whatever it's not giving you its full length it's crazy because like you grow up thinking like you have inward hair bad hair whatever like good hair bad hair whatever it feels so good to love your hair it really really does like i am obsessed i love my natural hair i'm so proud of it so with all of that being said, I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you come back for my next hair review. Leave any recommendations down below for me. And I will try any line that you would like for me to try out for you. I will try and let you know if it grew my hair at all. But um, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so that you are notified each and every time I post a new video. And thank you again for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.